Hello and welcome to the Rock River Valley Traction Company. Some of you have been asking for a video of the car barn. So today I will do my best to show you. I've been hesitant to do that because it's kind of a mess in there. And I spend most of my time out here uh, working on track and, and uh, maintaining the grounds. Not so much working inside the building, it's more a means for storage. Uh, but as you can see, there are uh, four bays. There's actually five tracks in there. Uh, the barn was built in 1976. We'll start out here in the middle. We have the box motor car. It was built in 1967. It's technically the largest car out here on the line, uh, probably the heaviest as well. It's solid wood construction. Uh, it's made out of uh, car siding boards. Uh, it is double truck. It only has one powered truck. At some point I'm going to power the other truck. It's a very nice running car, but it's very heavy. Uh, if it derails, you need a couple people to get it back on the track. So it sits in here most of the time. Over here we have the line car. You've seen uh, plenty of videos of this out running around. This used to be uh, kind of the workhorse of the line up until the steeple cab was built. Um, that is now the primary locomotive used out here to uh, Hall tools and whatnot, which uh, have this gondola car that I built this year, and uh, use it to store all the tools in for working on track. So back into the barn. Uh, then we have the Bernie car, which uh, you see in many of the videos. This is this car was built in 1956. It's a single single truck probably can't see under there too well but uh, it has two motors on it so each axle is powered it's very fast has a top speed of almost 30 miles per hour and um, it, it was the first car that was built uh, for this line so it's the oldest and it still works perfectly uh, it's had some control system upgrades over the years motor upgrades, uh, has air brakes. Um, it, it's a favorite out here and um, most everyone who's ridden one of these cars uh, in real life will say that this car rides exactly like the real Bernie car does. Um, so back, going back into the barn, we have uh, the curve side car. This is a double truck car. It was built uh, around 2001. It's the only all steel car. It's made out of tin and uh, steel tubing. It needs some rework on the trucks. Uh, some mods need to be made, but it does operate. Uh, down here we have a little battery powered track speeder. Uh, I use this whenever uh, the line is down or there's no power out here. I need to go out and make repairs to the line. I can pull a flat car with it uh, to get tools and materials out to the work site. Uh, the batteries normally sit right here on the back. They're not there right now. Um, it's got uh, one little 24 volt motor right there and both axles are driven uh, and then it's got this little lever right here uh, that's operates the brake so it's got a handbrake fun little car to ride uh, here we have the tank car now, that's what I use for um, spraying weeds also uh, if you need to haul any water for uh, you know doing controlled burns do that now, this car probably seen in other videos it used to be two 55 gallon drums 
and those have since been replaced with this plastic tank. And it's all disassembled right now for the winter so it doesn't freeze. Uh, back here we have uh, what's called the open car and this one currently has no wheels under it. I've got those uh, at my shop at home and I'm working on upgrading uh, the drivetrain in it. It had a um, turn of the century repulsion induction motor in it uh, which failed quite some years ago and I'm replacing it with a golf cart motor so it'll it'll have the same kind of motor as everything else out here um, so it's being upgraded and it's sitting on pit uh, those boards come off and there's a pit under there it's about uh, three feet deep and about probably six feet long and about four feet wide and uh, we use that to get up underneath the equipment if we need to make repairs underneath check the brushes and the motors and whatnot uh, you can go down there in the pit roll the car over top of you and do your inspection Here we have some axles, and here is the welder car. It's what all the rail out here is welded, uh, and I use this antique welding machine to uh, do all the welding. Uh, you take this clamp, clamp it on the rail, the ground. Take the, the stinger here, and put it up on the catenary like that and that gets power for the welder and uh, here's the bay where the uh, steeple cab normally sits along with the gondola car another look at the box motor Go over here to the other bay. This is where I keep the hopper cars. There are three hopper cars in here. Kind of hard to see, a little dark. But uh, there's two uh, large hoppers. Those are made out of a uh, 500 gallon fuel tank that I cut in half. And then there's this other little hopper car that has uh, air operated dump doors. This is the first uh, little freight car that I built probably about uh, sometime in the late 90s I think I brought that out here. Uh, we use it for spread and ballast. And uh, I guess the other thing to show you is the uh, power system. So the power comes in from the utility here, it's a 100 amp, 240 volt, and then there's uh, three little breakers. Those go to each of the substations. There are three substations out here. Uh, one of them is here at the barn, and the other two are spread out throughout the line uh, to try to keep the power somewhat stable under heavy loads. So they're strategically placed on the hills. Uh, where we need most of the power. Um, two little contactors down there are what energize those substations. Uh, it's done for uh, lightning isolation reasons. So when power comes in, uh, here's the uh, transformer for the, the barn here. So this is the first substation and it takes the 240 volts coming in which is comprised of uh, two legs of 120 volts to ground and it converts that to a, a single leg of 240 volts and ground and then the the knife switches are used to energize uh, the other substations so that's that's the barn uh, Hope everyone enjoyed the tour. Have any questions? Let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.